TRPS is ideally suited to enable a very accurate CD potential measurements, mainly due to the high electric field within the pool. The measurement is a two-step process. A calibration step with a known standard is followed by a sample particle as a measurement step where each particle is measured individual on a single particle basis. And through fine control and fine tuning of the electrophoretic and the electroosmotic velocities of the particles, very accurate CETA potential measurements can be obtained. So why is it superior to other measurement techniques? It is superior because it actually measures, and it's the only technique out there which enables and measures simultaneous size and charge measurements of nanoparticulates. It measures the particles on a single particle basis, uh, so it's not an ensemble technique and just measures an average. It measures the mobility, the electrophoretic mobility, and then translates it in the CETA potential. And as I said, due to the fine control of the convection, the electrosmosis, and the electrophoresis, and due to the high electric fields within the pore, we can achieve very highly accurate and very precise measurements. In comparison with the standard technique out there, which is PALS, it's phase analysis light, light scattering, which is based on laser Doppler velocimetry. Uh, we measure particles on a single ba basis, whilst PLS measures the average electrophor electrophoretic mobility of a lot of particles. And so this is not very suitable when you look at polydispersed samples. I mean polydispersed either in size or in charge, in surface charge, or in both, because an average will not tell you a lot. And most real-life samples are polydispersed. So PALS is really only suitable for monodispersed samples. That means monodispersed in size or charge. Shown in this slide is a pentamodal. Uh, it's made of different sample particulates. You can see a beautiful high resolution measurement of these five populations. The different colors show they were done in succession. And then when they were all mixed in one sample, that's the yellow measurement, you can see it is in a very good agreement with the single measurements. Each the measurement of a single particulate. On the right side in the measurement in, in the graph B, you can see uh, the measurements done at different pressures, so different convective velocities, and you can see measurements are independent.